Yo, what up guys? It's Jay here from TV Time with Jay and welcome back to another review and this time I'm here to review One Day at a Time Season 4 Episodes 3 and 4. Now as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episodes and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episodes yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episodes first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Okay, so... One Day at a Time is a show that I absolutely love. It is honestly one of the best sitcoms I have seen in a long time. It is a fantastic modern sitcom. It takes, you know, the same premise as the original, which honestly I had never seen. Uh, but, uh, you know, I watched a couple of episodes after this. Um, and, you know, it takes the same premise as the or original. But it applies Latino culture to it and, you know, also updates it for modern times. And, you know, it's not just they're Latino to be Latino, you know, being Latino actually affects the plot and, you know, the character interactions and it's really, really organic and genuine. This is a show that makes you laugh, it makes you cry, it goes through the entire emotional spectrum and... Uh, I actually wasn't able to cover this show when it originally aired on Pop TV, at least on YouTube, because at the time my original YouTube channel was terminated. So I was actually doing videos on another platform, which is now since defunct, but thankfully I found a way back onto YouTube. So one day at a time now has kind of a second airing over on CBS right now, and it seems like this second airing will help determine whether or not one day at a time we'll get a fifth season so i'm gonna do what i can to you know help give the show more coverage and you know just put it more out there so that more people can watch this show and enjoy it and love it and you know more people can talk about it uh, i think it's really smart that they did these like two episode at a time releases because obviously you know one and two they dropped uh last week and then three and four they dropped today which means uh, this episode, episode four, the second episode in the block, uh, ended up uh, being the Halloween episode, and uh, it just so happens to be the week of Halloween, so good timing. And episodes five and six will drop next week, which means they drop right before the election. And uh, let me tell you, the election episode, the animated special, is probably one of the best uh, politically themed episodes that I've seen from a sitcom, from a TV show in general, especially from a comedy. Uh, I cannot wait to talk about that one. I have a lot to say there. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about these two episodes. So right off the bat, the first episode, uh, you know, episode three. Episode three is quite possibly the funniest episode this show has had. And definitely the funniest episode of this first half of season four. So the basic premise is, you know, Penelope, she, you know, has some alone time with herself. And uh, Alex accidentally walks in. And so, you know, he's super embarrassed. Uh, she doesn't know how to talk to him about it. And, uh, you know, they have this whole discussion about boundaries. Now, meanwhile, Abuelita, Lydia, is out here doing what Latino moms do. And they meddle. And she's meddling in Penelope's love life because she feels like, you know, you shouldn't be doing the hanky-panky with yourself. Uh, you know, don't, don't be playing with the robots. You, 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 sex is supposed to be between a man and a woman, not a, a man uh, uh, and a Roomba. Or what? Just a, a lot of the zingers related to robots and sex and masturbation that uh, Rita Moreno delivers here are just absolutely phenomenal. Her comedic timing is amazing. I was cracking up multiple times and I've already seen this episode at least three times already because I've watched this episode multiple times just because of how funny it is. It is just, it cracks me up all throughout. Like just the jokes between Penelope and her support group. Of course, all of Lydia's jokes. Elena, uh, I said Elenia, I almost said Elenia. Elena was probably the funniest she's been in a long time. Because I'm not gonna lie, uh, one of my complaints about season four, uh, at least 4A, 
And this kind of stems from them not being able to be on Netflix uh, because, of course, being on pop and on network TV means they have ads. Uh, so they have to, like, kind of, like, structure the episodes around the ads and stuff. Uh, because they don't have as much time, uh, Elena's stuff still feels kind of rushed in this season. But, man, she was on point. I love Isabella. Uh, you know, Isabella Gomez is amazing. And, dude, she was so fucking funny in this episode. Uh, like, just, this was peak comedy with One Day at a Time. And honestly, the fact that this episode ended up on network TV is kind of amazing. Just, wow. Uh, it just had me dying all throughout. And of course, you know, by the end of the episode, Penelope realizes, okay, you know, I do still want to be close to you. You know, we still do need to share things with each other, be honest and open as we usually are. But I will agree that there do need to be small boundaries. You know, we'll leave locks on doors and stuff like that. And uh, let me tell you, living in a Latino household, there is no such thing as knocking. There is no such thing as locked doors. You don't know how many times I've had to edit out people coming into my room uh, while I'm recording a video because they don't knock. And so, like, you know, random motherfuckers would just be showing up in the background. So, I get it. I totally get it. Uh, this was hilarious. It was relatable. I had so much fun with it. So now episode four, the Halloween episode. This episode was also great because we got to see a bunch of creative costumes from our boy S. Snyder and his girlfriend. I cannot remember the name, her name off the top of my head. Avery. Avery. Snyder and Avery had some amazing costumes all throughout. Uh, goat yoga, drag racing, uh, probably, of course, my favorite being the Daenerys and, um, you know, Drogon costume that they pulled out at the end. Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, once again, you know, I like that these two episodes were paired together because both of them kind of still had to deal with sex because we actually you know, find a pregnancy test in the Alvarez trash can. So what is a pregnancy test doing in the basura? We do not know. And that is the mystery that Detective Lydia is trying to find out. She's like, okay, it's got to be Lupe's, right? Like, you know, Lupe and Max are getting serious. They're starting to, you know, mess around again. So maybe she just wasn't careful one time and one time is all it takes. And so she thinks, oh, yes, finally, Lupe is pregnant. That means she has to get married again. That means she'll have a man. There'll be a new baby in the house. This is going to be great. So she's trying to obviously get this information out of, you know, Lupe without letting Lupe know uh, that she knows about it. And then when, you know, Lupe is like, no, mommy, that's not mine. It's definitely not mine. And then just like, well... We know it can't be Elena's, because, you know, Elena's gay. And so they're like, oh, shit. That means it has to be Papito. It's got to be Alex. And then so they go over to Nora's house, Alex's girlfriend's house. And they have this really fun uh, interaction with Nora's parents, who are Puerto Rican. Which, hilariously fun fact... A majority of the main cast of one at a time, you know, the, the uh, you know, characters themselves are Cuban-American, right? The Alvarez family are supposed to be Cuban-American, but a majority of the family are actually played by Puerto Rican actors. Most famously, of course, uh, Puerto Rican treasure herself, Rita Moreno, from West Side Story fame. Everybody with even an ounce of Puerto Rican blood knows who... Rita Moreno is, and, you know, she just continues to kill it. Uh, absolutely love her. But, yeah, so, anyway, they have this really fun conversation where they go back and forth, and Max, being the white boyfriend, all he, all he has to say is, May I have a Max? Like, uh, shit. That was really funny. And so, of course, they're all pissed and angry. They're like, oh, no, our kids, our babies can't be having babies. And so... They start to, uh, you know, grill them, you know, ask them all these questions. And then, you know, embarrassed Alex is like, it's not ours, okay? It's impossible. We haven't had sex. It's like, excuse me? What did you say? We haven't had sex, okay? Calm down. 
And then, you know, <laughs> she looks at him and she's like, no sex at all? Oh, thank God. Uh, it was it was really, just a really fun, really nice moment. And then eventually, towards the end of the episode, we find out that the pregnancy test actually belonged to Avery. So we are going to have ourselves a little baby a Snyder. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, the next couple episodes, or at least the next episode, uh, deals with that. I think a uh, it's the one with the clown and... Uh, Avery and Snyder like kind of adjusting to like kind of preparing for parenthood and it's it's pretty great um, of course you know Snyder has some deep-rooted family issues himself which is why he clings to the Alvarez family because they're, like they're the family he's always you know wanted to be a part of so it's it's a really cool transition I really like this you know angle and uh, character arc for Snyder Snyder has been through a lot uh, since the beginning of the show, so I, I'm really excited to see what kind of dad he turns out to be. Very excited moving forward. I cannot wait to see, you know, 4B and how that turns out. Uh, and of course, these next two episodes are going to be great, especially that animated election special. I cannot wait to talk about that. I have a lot, a lot to say about that one. But uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, as always. Don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I view a bunch of other great TV shows as well and the fall TV season is just starting to come back so if you like you know what I did here you know breaking down the episode of one day at a time I would do that with several other great TV shows as well so like I said do all the usual YouTube things like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can see more reviews from me but that's pretty much it for me I've been Jay for TV Time with Jay and I'll catch you guys in the next review peace